Hello and welcome. This is Chani Nevnani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Typhoon Kamuri slams Philippines killing at least four. Typhoon Kamuri pummels the Philippines as it made landfall for the fourth time on Tuesday afternoon, packing winds of up to 170 kilometers per hour. According to the Philippine Weather Bureau, continuous intense rain will hover over the capital and neighboring provinces. Citizens were advised to watch for storm surges of up to 3 meters and flooding. Kamuri was expected to head out of the country on Thursday. The Category 4 typhoon left a trail of fallen trees and overturned vehicles in its path. More than 2 lakh people were evacuated. Two people were killed. One man died after a tree fell on him. There are initial reports of houses blown away, power and communication lines down, roads blocked, officials said. The government's disaster agency began moving people out of dozens of areas in southern Luzon on Monday as authorities raised the cyclone warning level for 35 provinces. People in the path of the typhoon were warned to be on alert for landslides, storm surges and floods amid strong winds and heavy rains. The storm has since weakened and is equal to a Category 1 hurricane as of Tuesday night, local time. At least four deaths have been reported as a result of the storm, according to the government officials on Tuesday. The hardest hit areas include Bicol, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, Eastern, Central, Luzon and Cagayan, where heavy rains and powerful winds were reported. These winds toppled trees and power lines across Bicol region, including Sarsagon province where Kamuri made its initial landfall. More than 5 lakh people were told to evacuate in advance of the storm which also forced closures of schools and businesses in the hardest hit areas on Tuesday. Rainfall amounts of 150 to 250 millimeters were reported across Bicol, Calabarzon and northern Mimaropa through Tuesday afternoon. Ahead of the storm's arrival, officials made the decision to close Manila International Airport beginning at 11 a.m. on Tuesday local time. As conditions improved, the airport reopened on Tuesday evening. Manila avoided the worst of Kamuri's impacts. However, the region still reported 25 to 75 mm of rainfall with locally higher amounts to the south and east of the city. Strong winds lashed the city from Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.